vlog because I was extremely angry yesterday. They have lost one of my bags. So I traveled with two bags and they lost one of them. And that happens to be a bag that has uh, all of my handbags, all my shoes, all of my jewelry, and all of my dresses, and all of my makeup. So I had to buy everything yesterday. Not everything, but I had to like, buy makeup at least. So I'm, I was extremely angry and I couldn't really vlog. But they look better. They still haven't found my bag. I will love these guys if they ever do. So I don't have any dresses pretty much. I only have bathing suits. One of them. So I guess this is what I'm going to be wearing for the rest of my trip. Thankfully I'm on an island and it's completely appropriate to wear bathing suits here. My hair is going completely crazy. Please excuse that. any time describing it to you because I'm just going to show you but I wanted to do a story time of what happened yesterday and why I was not in the mood to vlog yesterday so before I tell the story guys uh, you must know that if you ever decide to come to Mykonos please 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 consider renting a car because if you're like me and you're thinking you can walk from destination to destination or if you think you can take a taxi think again first of all you cannot walk from destination to destination because uh, beaches could be like 10 or 20 minutes apart driving and usually I don't mind walking for hours when I'm traveling however uh, there's no sidewalks here and the roads are extremely narrow so if you're trying to walk along the road, it's very dangerous. So yeah, don't do that. And another thing is, if you're considering a taxi, um, remember that the island is really small and you can get from one side of the island to another in under 30 minutes. However, the taxis here charge 40, 50 and 60 euros for 10 to 20 minute rides. And there is no work around it. They have transfers, as they call them. They have like the city tax taxis and they all charge insane amounts of money. So like to get from point A to point B and it's five minute distance, you're gonna pay like 30, 40, 50, 60 euros. So, okay, I did not know that when I came here the first two days, so I was still trying to figure out if there's like a cheaper way to get around the island or whatever, but no, you have to rent a car, so now I rented a car, now I'm happier. But anyway, so yesterday we were at a beach club with my friend and we wanted to go check out this place that is a very much hyped and raved about and everybody tells us to go there, Scorpios, you might have heard about it, apparently it's Famous, I did not know that, but everybody here tells me like, oh my god, go to Scorpios, it's amazing, get some drinks, look at the sunset, blah blah blah. So we are at a beach club and it was already kind of like late, it was like 7pm, so we're like, okay, let's go to Scorpios, sunset is soon, so let's do it. So we come up to one of the girls that works at a beach club and we asked her if we can get a taxi there. And she said, no taxi, but you can get a transfer. How much is it? 60 euros, which is completely, completely, entirely nuts. But we said, okay, because we called the taxi service and they didn't have taxis available. And that's like a normal thing in Mykonos, apparently. So anyway, we go, we pay for the transfer. And I even asked the driver, I said, 
it's a popular place and it's a popular time around sunset. Do you think we'll find a table? Do you think we should go? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, you can totally go. Please go, you're gonna enjoy, you're gonna find a place. I'm like, okay. I'm wearing a bathing suit and a cover-up. My friend is wearing a bathing suit and a cover-up as well. So yes, we're coming from a beach club and we're not thinking about anything. So then we get to Scorpio's we come up to the entrance and there are two guys, bouncers, they look us up and down and go, I'm sorry, but we have a dress code here. You can come in in swimsuits. And that's fine. You know, places have dress codes. That's normal, whatever. The problem I'm having with all of this is that people, multiple people, first of all, that girl that booked us a transfer that knew very well where we're going, and the driver of the transfer that I asked if we are gonna be able to get in, not because of our dress, but because of how popular it is. Either of them should have been like, you're not gonna get in because they know they're local. They work here. They know how it works. It's not such a big island that they've never heard of this place and the rules of this place. So they know and they just decided to take the money anyway and they don't care. And yeah, you could say like, oh, you should have researched it, whatever. And I will, trust me. Anywhere here where I go and, you know, I'm not never going to rely on what people tell me here because this is not the first time I'm being told something by locals and it turns out to be not true. So anyway, yes, I considered that I was scammed out of 60 euros, which is which is already a scam. To drive for 15 minutes, 60 euros, that's already a scam. But anyway, yes, that's why I did not vlog yesterday because I was not in the mood to vlog. And even now that I'm telling the story, it kind of makes me very angry. So anyway, I am over it now. We got a car now, so we don't have to pay insane money for transfers, transfers as they call them. I guess they want to justify the insane prices they charge here for 10 minute rides. But anyway, I, I'm done with it. Rant over. <laughs> Let's go into the city. Let's go have dinner, uh, watch some sunset, and I'll show you how beautiful it is. guys, so this is the real reason why I came to Mykonos It's because of its cats Look at that little hangout Oh my god Hi! They're so cute And I see cats on every corner here Which I love because I love cats Don't tell my cat that I'm like filming other cats right here <laughs> He'll get jealous So guys, we just sat down
are inside the city. Just walked in, as you can see, super narrow streets behind me, and I just want to take you with me for a walk. not real life, I swear. This is like a movie set, it's so pretty. right right now so excuse the lighting and also I know that you're all envious of my hairstyle but it's very windy and I only have one hair clip because my hair clip is still in the bag that is lost and I still have not found it shout out to Air France yeah consider traveling with them really consider because every time I call them they say oh we don't know we know nothing my bag has been missing for like four days now but anyway back to the positive gonna walk you through this beautiful streets of Mykonos, so let's go! Hopefully we see some cats, because this morning we saw like a whole bunch of cats and they had like a cat house and there was like five or six of them in there which was a dream come true for me because you know I love cats <laughs> going to lunch today to Negrita Cafe which is supposed to be really really pretty and highly recommended by the locals so I will um, film from there and show you guys. Hey guys so we just sat down for lunch. Uh, we went to Negrita's bar but it was full so we couldn't sit down there maybe we'll come back later but we are at a very very charming place with a sea view over there I just got me some eggs. It's 2 p.m. right now, but I still need eggs. <laughs> I love eating eggs. So yeah, I'm going to have my lunch and then I'll check in with you guys later. Maybe walk around the city a little bit more and if I see any cute places, I'll definitely show you. But yeah, this is my lunch view for the day. Hey guys, so we just sat down for dinner. We are in a sunset restaurant where we are hoping to see a sunset. I'll show you the view in a second. So this is the restaurant guys and this is the view. It's right on the water and soon there's going to be sunset so hopefully we will see that. Very beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. 